Hello. This is a quick recording on an example of setting up a math channel with Scoby. And with this, I just set up a simple circuit. I have a 100 ohm resistor and a 1N914 uh, diode. Uh, so the resistor diode, I have the wave gen and ground across the series combination. Channel 1 is measuring the voltage across the 100 ohm resistor. Channel 2 is measuring the voltage across this diode. This is not a circuit you're actually going to use, uh, but it's just an example of using a math channel. So now if I go into Scopey, uh, I just have it set up, and I hope, let me get rid of this. You probably see that. Uh, I have a signal generator set up and running. I just picked a nice large amplitude so that I can see what's going on. Uh, 10 hertz, it's ridiculously low frequency, but it's it's there, so I'm not going to change that right now. Uh, then I go to the oscilloscope. I have the oscilloscope running. And again, remember the channel one is the voltage across the resistor. Here's the channel one signal. Okay. Uh, the other channel two is the voltage across the diode, and we're not that interested in diodes right right now, other than you see when I try to go forward, I don't get a large voltage in the forward direction, I'll call it that. When I try to go reverse, I get a large voltage. You notice I get no voltage on the resistor, it means there's no current. So okay. the point is add a math channel. So if I go down to the plus sign, add a math channel, and the thing that's not well labeled or intuitively obvious is that these are the time traces. So this is channel one. As, yeah, this is channel one and this is channel two. Okay, and you can see I've already been in there. I've done it. Let me just do it and change it again. So let me just get rid of this. I want to look at channel one. I have a hundred ohm resistor, so I want to get current. I'm going to divide it by a hundred ohms. Okay, apply, add, and now I have another channel here, which is quite flat. And the reason is that I, if I take the voltage divided by 100 ohms, I got current in amps. And we're really not working with amps, but I can go in here and you're gonna see some of the limitations of this instrumentation board. So I wanna see it. Let me go down to 10 millivolts per division. Now you remember this is the, in, the channel voltage divided by uh, 100 ohms. So this, even though it says millivolts, this is amps. So if you see zero amps here, point so 10 millivolts is 10 milliamps. And then you notice this thing is red or choppy. That's the resolution of the system. We're working down on the low end. And I can just turn off channel, channel this math channel for a second. You can see you get, they're falling on top of each other, right? Now, I, if you can edit the math channel, I have I've had a little trouble with that. I'm gonna delete the math channel and I'm gonna add it again. Okay. Except this time, I'm going to say, okay, give me the current in milliamps instead of amps. So I want to take the voltage of the input channel and I want to divide it by kilo ohms. I have 0 0.1 kilo ohms. Okay, so it's working again. You just notice now the channel is really off because I'm looking, trying to look at this is now milliamps. So this is one milliamp, this is five milliamps. Uh, we know we got more current flowing. So if I go to here, you can see I'm actually getting up to like 27 milliamps. And again, I can turn off the measurement channel. And you can see because the voltage divided by resistance, I end up with a scale where point, uh, 2 point, what, 2 point, uh, 2.85, 2.9 uh, volts roughly represents 2.9 milliamps. So these two channels fall on top of each other uh, when I do that, which is, makes sense. The 100 ohm resistor, put it on these different scales, but this is now giving you the current in milliamps. And that's what we talk about when we want a math channel. And again, the, the numbers I'm using are not the numbers you're gonna use. Uh, the circuit is not the same. Uh, well, the circuit's pretty similar, but the, you use different voltage signal, but it's trying to give you an example of uh, what we're trying to do.